Hey everybody, uh, these are gig stories from Fowler's Garage. I'm Damon, and uh, this next guest is a good friend of mine. I've known him for a really good long time. We run across each other at all sorts of events. Um, he's played guitar for Alan Parsons. He's played guitar in his own project. He's gone, I believe he lives in California, um, but he's he's everywhere. And um, he's, he's a really nice dude and a really gifted guitar player, and I'm really happy to have him. Uh, so please welcome Alistair Green. Oh, thanks, man. That's a nice introduction. Appreciate it very much. Well, I'm a big fan of yours, too, so here we go. Cool, man. <laughs> right on. Um, so gig stories, then. Yeah, give me one. What you got, well, man? Well, you know, I, there, to me, I would like to keep things humorous. Um, sure. Because yeah, there's man. a few ways to go. Uh, I like telling stories of great big gear fails at at key moments because Perfect. yeah in the moment it. in the moment it sucks but after the fact it can be pretty funny yeah um so i've got a recent one and i've got a little bit of an older one and this is something that that i know that you can appreciate because as a guitar player we've talked a couple times you're pretty much a straight into the amp guy which Most i of the time yeah. yeah which i really which i really respect and um I've been trying to get closer to that. Um, I do. I can do that kind of with my band, but when I'm like a side guy with things, typically I'll have to get a few right. pedals together to kind of emulate some of these sounds. Of course, you know, and it and, depends on the on the situation you're in, right? You know, for me, so that's where that's where things can classically just go really wrong, right? <laughs> right, and because if you're going to the amp, that's a pretty good uh, starter. So I've got like. I've got a few just really classic ones. The most recent was, you know, I, I did a year touring with Sugar Ray Rayford. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, I and saw that, was, that uh, lineup with yeah, you. Yeah, well, what, right. We did that great. festival with uh, you guys. Yeah. Uh, was that in Wisconsin? Wisconsin? Yeah. yeah. Um, and that was a lot of fun, and I had, and I had a great time. And so I, I put together, like, uh, a small pedal board for that because – a lot of the times, you know, we'd be using backline, and for some of his stuff, I want to use maybe a little bit of distortion. And most of those backline amps at festivals are going to be like a twin or a super reverb. So I had like an overdrive and maybe like a little slap back delay. So I just had a really simple pedal board, but even the simplest things can go wrong. And we had a gig that I'd really been looking forward to, and I'd actually been trying to get on for years with my band, which was the Mammoth Blues of Palooza in Mammoth Lakes in uh, Northern California. I am in Southern California, by the way. I'm in right. Ventura County in, in the a town that's unfortunately been named Oxnard is where I live. Nice. So that in and of itself is, awesome. uh, is a whole other funny story. <laughs> but anyhow, so we get to Mammoth and I'm super stoked and it's this festival I've been wanting to play. And so, you know, it was just a classic, a lot of people out there checking you out. And I can't remember the song, but it was like, and thankfully there was another so there's other soloists in the band. It's not like, you know, it's all yeah. over at that point. So, but it was one of those things where I went to go step on something for a solo and I don't know if something got unplugged, if that was when the cable decided to go bad and it was just like nothing. And it was just like, there's that heroic moment and you're going in for the heroic moment. And then it's just like nothing. And you're like going. And so, you know, they're just, I mean, in the moment, it sucks. It totally sucks in that moment. And thankfully, I carry like a spare overdrive pedal with me. So I like right. was scrambling around and like you're on your knees, like unplugging stuff. And there's like a bunch of, because it's like those kinds of things, it's, you're not carrying a tech with you per se. No, it's no. you and your gear. And if maybe a stage hand is, it happens to help you out. But a lot of times those guys don't know what to do or what's mm -hmm. going on. So anyhow, so that was just like one of those, finally kind of, it took a while, but I finally got it and plugged into this, you know, overdrive pedal and finished the gig. But it was just one of those classic, like, man, why does it have to be this gig in front of all those people? You know, why couldn't it be a bar gig in front of like 20 drunk, you know, college nah, people? <laughs> nah, never. It's got to be in front of the thousands. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a good one. Um, and I mean, I, I mean, I've got a couple more that I, I, I think are, are classic ones that are. Give me another one. What you got? Um, well, the the first tour I ever did with Alan Parsons um, was in. Well, when I was officially a member of the band was in 2013, and we went to Europe for a few weeks. And there wasn't a lot of gigs. Um, we only played like about seven or eight shows, but we it seemed like we were over there forever. 
And the last one, um, and this was, you know, kind of my first time going to Europe and touring and it was, you know, you know, a big classic rock act thing or whatever. And it was the same thing where I had this pedal board that now that I look back on it, I know that I know what I've, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's shoddy and there's just, you know, things that aren't, you know, and the adapters are weird. So you don't know what happens, why, you know, right. these things fail. But it was one of those gigs where it was like a bunch of people in a theater and it was like, here comes, and there's, you know, that's a gig that a lot of people don't consider like a big guitar gig, but there's a lot of like guitar solos in that music. And there's a Absolutely. handful of songs that have some like, kind of like heroic themed guitar solos where it's like, right. Kind of like, like, yeah, kind of like that epic, slow tempo, kind of yeah. like a comfortably numb vibe. It's like, here it comes. And I'm pretty sure there's a song called, uh, there's like a suite, kind of a progressive rock suite of songs called The Turn of a Friendly Card. And at the end, there's this slow building thing and it launches into a guitar solo. And it was one of those, here comes my David Gilmore moment. And then nothing. And it's just like, ah, oh, man, it's just, you know, People what are you going to you? Yeah. And, and, and then and, um, you can't hear you. you can't yeah, hear. And you're just like, oh. so I've, 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 I've learned to try and laugh at those moments as best that I can. That's the best way to do it. Hey, I'm Damon. And this is gig stories from Fowler's garage. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a like and a share.